Okay, let, let me give you guys another example of proof by contradiction. Let's say we're trying to prove that there is no smallest rational number greater than zero. So here we're saying that we've got no smallest uh, rational number. By proof, with proof by uh, contradiction, we, we, we're going to assume the opposite. We're going to assume that there does exist a rational number. We, we're going to assume that there exists the smallest possible rational number there is out there. So we're, we're going to assume that this number here exists it, and it happens to be the smallest. So this is our assumption here. This is the smallest rational number. So currently up here we're saying, currently up here we're saying no smallest rational number. Down here we're saying there exists, there exists the, uh, the smallest rational number. So currently as things stand, either this is true or this is true. It can't be both. If this is not true, then th then it has no choice. Then this has no choice but to be true. If this is if this is false, then 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 uh, then this has no choice but to be true. So currently, as things stand, uh, either this is true or this is true. So we're going to we we so up here we're we're saying no smallest uh, rational number, but with proof by contradiction, we are going to assume that there is there exists this special uh, smallest possible uh, rational number here. This number here exists. Let's just assume that it exists. But then when we make this assumption, something breaks down because because okay, we, we're going to we're going to assume that this number exists. If this number exists, then I'm just going to get this number, the very same number, and then divide this number by two. Now, when you when you divide a fraction, it gets multiplied to the bottom, so it becomes a over two b. But then this here is irrational because you can express it as a fraction, and then it happens to be smaller than this thing here. Our assumption, this really, our assumption is wrong. So this here, this assumption here is false because here we are saying this here, this number here, is the smallest possible. This is the very smallest rational number. But then if we make this assumption, then then we can always divide it by two to get to get an even smaller one. So this assumption here is false. So it has no choice. This has no choice but to be true. It's it's a bit like um it's a bit like me saying think of a number and I can think of a number bigger than than uh, than your number. So if you think of nine 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 nine, I can just get this number and then plus one or or times two. So it's a bit like it's a bit similar to this. So um so with proof by contradiction, you you assume this to be true. Let's just assume there. That there does exist a, a uh, the smallest possible rational number out there. Let's just say this is the smallest in the world, and and there th 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 there is no smaller. If if you make this assumption, you're saying there is no smaller uh, rational number out there. But then if you get this very small, if you get your assumption and then divide it by two, then you just created a a number that is smaller than you. You can't really make this assumption. Um, this assumption would be false. So therefore this must be true. I hope you understand.